Alright, so, um, welcome back. I'm sorry for the lack of an update since I um, have some, um, how to design, design a project for the uh, JavaScript tutorial, which will come in soon. Uh, so I forget to, um, record the CSS video, but here I'm back with, uh, interactive lesson. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn CSS animation. So first thing we need to do is configuring the animation. So to create CSS animation sequence, you sell the element you want to animate with the animation property or its sub properties. This lets you configure the timing, duration, and other details of how the animation the uh, how the animation sequence should progress. This does not configure the actual appearance of the animation, which is done using at keyframes. At rule as described below. All right. So basically, what's up? Uh, by the way, that paragraph is not written by me, it's written by Mozilla uh, Firefox. Uh, they have great explanation on these, um, on web, de web developing, which I'm gonna put uh, the link in the description. Alright, so let's take a look. We will, there's many uh, animation property, and I'm gonna list them down. First is animation name. Which specify the name of the add keyframe at rule describing the animation's keyframe. So here is our name. Name can be anything you want. So I can change it such as it's slide, just a slide, but I also can change this also. Alright. Um, and we have animation duration, which is pretty obvious. Configures the length of time that an animation should complete. An animation timing function configures the timing of the animation, which all the animation transitions through the keyframe, but establish the acceleration curves. We also have animation delay, which is configure the delay between the time and the uh, time day element loaded and the beginning of the animation sequence. We have animation iteration count which not in here, but I'm going to talk about this also, which is configure the number of times the animation should repeat. You can specify infinite, even repeat the animation indefinitely. Animation direction, configure whether or not the animation should alternate direction on each run through the sequence or reset to the start point and repeat itself. Animation field mode, configure what values are applied by the animation before, and after it, it is executing, animation play states and final anima animation play state lets you pause and resume the animation sequence. All of that you can find in my uh, website or in the uh, Mozilla webpage. So let's actually take a look. I did some bad styling. Uh, All right, so uh, here, uh, here's what I want to show you. All right, uh, I'm gonna put down the uh, styling for just a bit. So paragraph, what happening is I specify animation duration, which is this animation, which is specified below, should take three seconds to complete. And the name gonna be slide in. And so I create a keyframe called sliding in from margin left 100% and width is 300% to margin left 0% and width 100%. So this is I keyframe properties. And this is slide in, which is where will it, uh, where will it start and will it the destination, which is also now it's two. So from and two. All right. All right. So let's take a look on how this will actually work. Let me save the file. In your Komodo tab, I'm gonna preview this and drag it up. 
I'm gonna refresh it so we can see it. As you can see, now it's moved across the screen. Good. And yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna add another property into it. So let me create a file. I'm gonna copy everything from here. Save this to HTML. Let's go save this as slide2.html. Alright. So, what I want to change is I want to add another keyframe. Such as 75%. Gonna say font dash size is gonna be 300%. Margin left. It's gonna be 25%. And width is going to be 150%. Sweet. Um, so what is what what is this doing right here? So this tells the browser that 75% of the way through the animation sequence, the header should have its left margin 25%, and the width should be 150%. So what's that mean? Well, let's take a look. There's the error. So selector expected twenty one. I think we should be able to ignore that. Uh, let's take a look. So we're gonna test slide two to each HTML. Our answers did pretty much the same thing. Off it. Um. I think I should add this inside here. Does that work? Let's take a look. Yeah, we should add this inside of it. So what's happening is, let's rewatch it. So it's be it become gigantic bit. At like seventy five percent of the animation sequence, which should be approximately two point seven five minute uh, a second, and then it's gonna back to normal, which is gonna be specified to two property. So make sure you add seventy five percent inside of the add keyframes. All right. So now, what if I want to make a repeat? So in such a way that let me save this file first. Slide three HTML. So here's what I want to do. I'll make a repeat in such a way it's always gonna move across the screen. Obviously, so here's what I'm gonna do. You will recall that I read the definition of the animation iteration count. You have a line right says you can specify infinite to repeat the animation indefinitely. So what's that mean? Now I'm gonna use this property animation iteration count. I'm gonna say infinite. So what will happen? Let's save it and let's drag it up, 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 and we're gonna say slide three HTML. And now, as you can see, it's doing this uh, animation sequence infinitely. But I guess you don't want your browser to do that because eventually, I think it's gonna crash. So I better stop it. Alright, 
So I make a repeat, but I think it's a little bit too boring. We'll just like like see this like from from red right to the left, and then suddenly go back to red again, like simultaneously. So what I want to do is making back and forth. So let me copy this. And I'm gonna say HTML CSS CSS animation. I'm gonna say slide for HTML. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a animation direction. So if I add animation direction, I'm gonna say alternate. And here's what's gonna happen. So uh, let me save this slide for the HTML. It's come seen. It's come to zero. Then suddenly comes back. Come seen again. Come to here and come back. And you can see it. So it's just alternate them, which is applied to opposite. And as you can see. They still had the uh, gigantic font size specified by 75%. Alright. So. And last but not least. I've been typed for CSS dec uh, animation declar CSS declaration so far. They're actually a cheat way. Um, let me... Don't show it for right now. Let me comment. Let me paste this. I'm gonna say slide five. I'm gonna say slide five dot html. Save it in here. Here. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change to one. So there's a big animation property. And as you can see, there's definition. I'm gonna read it. The animation says this property is a shorthand property for animation name, animation duration, animation timing function, animation delay, animation iteration count, animation direction, animation field mode, and animation play state. And yeah, etc. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type all the values in three second, infinite, alternate, and slide in. All right, so let's save. So if I type all the code correctly, we should see exactly the same thing as slide five, which is showing right now. So let me change it. All right, it's come to here and it's come back. Great. But also you need to know there's a certain order you need to follow. For example, before I type of the these have a definition. Let me see if I can bring that up again. So yeah, anyway, there's a order that you must be follow in order to create that. So you cannot just say okay, I'm gonna type three. Oh, here is definition. So you must follow the um. You must follow the order, not like you cannot just type slide in, alternate, infinite. Actually, I'm gonna try three seconds. Let's see if that actually works. Let's save this. Let's rerun this. Surprisingly, it's actually work. All right, so never mind. You don't have to specify in certain order. You can specify in any order we want, which is quite good. Alright, so that's his version, and that's all in the uh, CSS animation. And yeah, that's bring us the end of the CSS tutorial. However, I may still post a video on CSS, but I may an HTML and CSS. So thank you for watching HTML CSS tutorial series. Uh, we're going to start JavaScript in next video, and 
which is mean we can make our web page more interactive.